crazy bitch terrified my family. I want her arrested now. Sir, we have to locate the suspect first. How hard can that be? She left her clothes behind in her wallet. Patrol dumped this one on a swab because the whack job was found naked in the shower. Elliot, I called you in. Why? Because the Spidey sense tells you she was a rape victim? Because she's your daughter. She broke into our house, she stripped naked, and she took a shower. My baby was asleep in the next room. She could have been hurt. I can understand that, but there's no reason to believe that this woman is dangerous. You know, it's just a college kid who behaving badly. Can I get your name and badge number? Detective Stabler. You're trying to cover this up. No, no, my daughter would never hurt anyone. Get out. Kathleen came back to the party after her shower, but she didn't stay. Where'd she go? She's got no money. She's got no clothes. Elliot, she's not alone. One of her girlfriends probably took her home. They're all drunk. They're not thinking straight. They'd be waving goodbye to her if a total stranger came out and offered her a ride home in his van. You can't think like that. Don't talk to me like I'm a civilian. <laughs> Kathleen! Daddy! It's so cool you're here! <sighs> come on, you gotta come try it. If you tilt your head back, it looks like you're floating in outer space like an astronaut above some freaking planet. Come on! Hey, Olivia! You wanna come play? Uh, that's probably not the best idea, sweetie. Come on. It was the first time I tried anything harder than vodka. I swear, Dad. I'm sorry. I really screwed up again. <laughs> She's not dealing, detective. Just using. What's she on? Coke and downers. She gets real high and uses Valium to smooth out the crash. She's gone. Kathleen's gone. What do you mean she's gone? What happened? She said she was hungry, so I made her a sandwich. And when I took it up to her room, she'd snuck out the window and down the oak tree. What the hell were you thinking? Why don't you just stay with her? Don't blame this on me. We'll find her. We'll find her. Where do we start? I have an idea. Kathleen. Kathleen. Kathleen! <laughs> Kathleen! She's OD. What's she on? I don't know. She took a bunch of pills. Your daughter is very sick. Kathleen's drug and alcohol abuse, the hypersexuality, the DWI, the credit card she stole. We think it's bipolar disorder. I can't do this. No, don't go. I need some air. What are we going to say to Aunt? Something's come up. Can I wait? No. Kathleen's looking at Grand Larceny 3, Berg 2. How, how about if I talk to the homeowners? They're claiming you used your badge to sweep this under the rug. No, no, no. Look, I would have done the same thing even if Kathleen weren't my daughter. Really? How many junky thieves you let slide recently? My daughter's in a bad way right now. But she's a good kid. So I hear, Elliot. But my hands are tied. Detectives Jaworski and Corman from the DA squad. Sorry for your troubles, but we gotta take her in. She's being admitted as a psych patient. That's my move. It's not a game. I'm not crazy! Hey, please, honey, honey, go back inside, baby. No, this bitch wants to lock me Shh. off! Shh, no, 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 they do. Fine, <laughs> take me away, you, boys. You don't understand what you're doing. I'm not going to the nut house. You're going if I have to commit you myself. If arraignments are down for the week, and that means you're gonna be in a cell with the scum of the earth until Monday morning. Do you understand that? So? You sure you don't wanna to listen to your dad? I'm sick of him telling me what to do. This is my life! Please, Stabley, you were under arrest for burglary. Let you do this. Grand Larson. Detective, step back. I wanna do something with your partner here. Elliot, you gotta let this play out. There's right to be inside. You say, can I move Listen to me, I'll go with her. And I will stay with her as long as I can. Okay. The DA is amenable to a lesser charge, but the victims are out for blood. What's the game plan? <sighs> Kathleen refuses to admit she has a mental illness, so the psych defense is out. We'll have to go on the offensive. Put the victims on trial. You're constantly complaining about the dirty tricks that defense attorneys play, and now you want to do That's the same work. thing? This is about Kathleen. No, this is about you. Don't go there. I'm not going there. Don't go there. <sighs> Bipolar disorder runs in families. If we could show the court that Kathleen is predisposed to BPD, then the judge might consider alternative sentencing. Right, psychiatric treatment instead of jail. Yes, but it'll only happen if Kathleen admits she's sick. She won't, she won't. 
or we can show a family history. Elliot. Hi, Mom. Please help me. Please help me. Just didn't make you sick. Elliot. <laughs> if, you, if you could just take a deep breath. Smell the ocean air. Feel the sun on your face, the wind. Feel the sand beneath your feet. Oh, I know. Let's build a sand castle, OK? Like we used to when you were little. Remember that summer that we I rented a cottage in Wildwood for the whole summer? And you used to come out every morning and start digging. And then by sunset, you'd have this whole metropolis. And then uh, you'd cry like a baby when the tide came and washed it all away. Do you know what I remember about that summer? Huh? The night you told Dad you were leaving us? Do you remember that? Running around, shouting how you needed to be free. You know, we're going to need some shells for the, for the windows. When Dad picked me up in his arms, you ran off, got his gun. Threatened to kill yourself. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, and, and some pebbles for the moat. Do you remember him laughing at you? Because it was only the millionth time that he'd heard that from you. And when I cried, you lifted up the revolver and you shot at us. I know. We'll need seaweed for Rapunzel's hair hanging down from the tower. I remember that crazy look on your face. Oh, this is going to be good. I wonder why you hated us so much you wanted us dead. Come on, Elliot. We need sticks for Stop the job bridge. Stop it. Stop it. Why did you do that? It's okay. I can do it again. Goodbye, Mom. I understand you've been getting yourself into all kinds of trouble, huh? Are you going to yell at me, too? Me? Your partner in crime? <laughs> Grandma. Do you think I'm crazy? Do you feel crazy? I don't know. It's like the world is full of these tingling force fields, and everything I touch makes me shimmer. Yeah, and then sometimes just the thought of getting out of bed makes you so tired you feel like you need a 12-hour nap. Yeah, well, that's the price we pay for greatness, honey. The higher you fly, the farther you fall. In 1969, there was this amazing snowstorm. It was a blizzard. Everybody was snowbound for, for days. Everyone except me and your father. I drove us into the city. We were the only car on Broadway. It was just glorious. I drove faster and faster. I felt like I was driving a magical sleigh. Your father was scared. He kept shouting, stop, Mommy, stop. But I was chasing snowflakes until I chased one into a lamppost. I totaled the car. And I broke your daddy's arm. He never told me that story. No, he never told anybody what really happened. See, we all make mistakes, Katie. There's no shame in that. But you do have to take responsibility for your actions. I've done a lot of bad stuff, too, with boys. You're a beautiful girl. Boys have always liked you. They just wanted sex. And I gave it to them, a lot of them, even ones I didn't know. When I think about it, it makes me want to die. There's nothing we can do about the past. But you can start fresh tomorrow. How? By hugging the ones who love you, even when you think that they might not want it. I think you're different, like me. I've lived the life I wanted to live. And I've paid a terrible price. Guilty, Your Honor. The people have agreed to accept a pre-indictment plea to the lesser included misdemeanor. And in return, the defendant has agreed to enter inpatient psychiatric treatment. Are the victims on board? They are. Ms. Stabler, are you prepared to cooperate with your doctors? Yes. 
I know I have a problem and I want to get help. I'll take medication.